Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cultural Anthropology. This week we're going to be looking at marriage and family. Marriage is an institution found in almost every society, although the rules, of course, just like anything else in anthropology, we have found that the rules vary a great deal from society to society. In our own culture, we have traditionally thought that marriage is best to be arranged between two consenting adults, usually one male and one female, although of course that is changing as we become more accepting of same-sex marriages. But still we hold it as an ideal that our marriages be based on romantic love and that we be married to only one person at a time. If things don't work out, we're pretty much free to divorce and then marry somebody else if we please. In other societies, this would be considered to be very, very strange. In some societies, uh, parents arrange the marriages for their children. Marriage is simply too important an institution, both politically and economic, to allow it to be determined by such transient emotions, such as uh, sexual uh, interest or romance. How would you feel if your parents uh, arranged a marriage for you when you were a child? The great Indian um, political activist Mahatma Gandhi, he was 13 years old when his uh, family arranged a marriage uh, with a young, another young girl at the age of 14, and they were married together until her death. So in arranged marriages, we find that they can be very, very successful, although very strange to our point of view. So I hope you enjoy learning about marriage customs and the purpose that marriage or other types of permanent relationships hold in different societies. This week, uh, you'll need to start preparing for exam two, which will be held next week. And um, just as a little opportunity, I have posted an extra credit assignment. So if you have any questions, of course, email me or give me a call during office hours or I will see you next week. So have a great week and stay nice and warm. Thank you.